All right, thanks for watching. And today I will answer a very neat question. In other words, if you know that the series of a n converges or diverges, can you tell me anything about the sequence a n squared? And in general, the answer is no. In fact, let me first of all give you an example of a divergence series whose square diverges. Or for instance, the series of one over square root of n which is just a one-half series that diverges, because one-half is less than one, but also the square, one over square root of n squared, which is the one series, also diverges. So if this diverges, this might diverge, but also in other cases, for instance, you have the one series, which diverges, but the square of that, which is a two series, which is one over n squared, this converges. So in general, divergence doesn't imply anything, but even convergence um, doesn't imply anything. Because for instance, well, you could have the series converging and the square converging. So for instance, the sum of one over n squared converges Therefore, the sum of uh, 1 over uh, n squared squared, which is the sum of 1 over n to the fourth, converges. Okay. However, you could also have um, um, another scenario where one converges and the other one diverges. Because, for instance, consider the following series. So in this case, we have to go alternating. You'll see why. Consider the series minus 1 to the n over n. Okay, now I minus 1 to the n over square root of n, which if you want is just uh, minus 1 plus 1 over square root of n minus 1 over square root of 3, dot, dot, dot. Well, this one, it converges by the alternating series test. However, what if we take... Uh, the sum, the square here, 1 over n over square root of 1 over n squared, well, that just becomes the 1 series, which diverges. So it's very important. In general, the series of a n has nothing to do with the series of a n squared, except for the following situation. So here's what I want to show. I want to show that, well, if the um, series, if the a n itself is positive, then actually, if you know the series of a n converges, then the series of a n squared converges. So fact, if uh, a n is greater or equal to zero, then the sum of a n is finite implies the sum of a n squared is finite. And the proof is super, super quick. So uh, proof, if you want, so, um, well, if this co converges, so if the series converges, then by the divergence test, we actually know that a n has to go to zero. However, well, if a sequence goes to zero, then eventually the sequence has to be less than one. Okay. So which means there is some threshold is capital N such that after this threshold, if N is bigger than a threshold, then a n is less or equal to 1. However, if a n is less than 1, then uh, the square of the number is less than the number itself. So if you want, uh, this is if you want x, and this is x squared. Well, before 1, x squared is less than x. So in particular, we get that a n squared is less or equal to a n. 
And therefore, what can you tell me? Well, if you take this series starting at capital N, so the series of N from capital N, from plus 1 to infinity of a n squared, that's less than or equal to the series from n, from capital N plus 1 to infinity of a n. But we know this converges by assumption, and therefore, what do we get? We get that the tail of the series converges, so um, the whole series converges. So if we want the sum of a n, which is the sum, let's say, from n from 1 to capital one n of a n, this thing is finite, plus the sum of n from capital n plus 1 to infinity of a n squared. This is also finite. This whole thing is finite. And therefore, we're done. So nice, quick calculus proof. Um, all right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.